see out there today? How was it? Uh, it was good. A lot of things to work on. Um, obviously, the defense played really well today. I feel like they got the better half of us, um, especially the last period. We got to do better as an offense. Um, but uh, to be honest, we're we're fighting out there. We're having fun. We're playing football. So uh, just just good vibes out there. When you have a period like that where the defense does a really good job, what's the feeling? Is that like, hey, crap, we got to do better? Is yeah. it, hey, that's good because now we see some things we need to improve on? How do you how do you view it? It's kind of like a humbling experience sometimes. You know, everyone talks about how great you are all the time and how great you know the quarterbacks, tight ends, wide receivers, O line, running backs are, but. When the defense gets better, you're like, okay, we got to get back to the drawing board, work, work on some stuff, look at the film, and then we'll get better tomorrow. So, would you say this is like the best secondary that you've seen here at BYU playing against? Oh yeah, this secondary is like they're all very long, they're all very fast. Um, obviously, D'Lo, Caleb, um, they're stud guys. The safeties are studs. The secondary, they're they're legit, and they have a ton of experience under the belt. I feel like they've all played at least for four four plus years now so yeah this secondary is is top notch at BYU. How much do you trust your foot ankle now? Uh, I trust it it's it's a growing experience I'd probably trust it like 80 percent here and there I can't really jump off it if that makes sense like I can't really jump just purely off my right uh, ankle yet but running feels great running feels great um, yeah, br breaking, cutting feels really good. Blocking feels good. So it's just kind of that right foot jump is a little hesitant time. So, but it's it's getting there. It's getting so close. Is that the kind of thing that you think as the season goes along, you get it back, or is it not going to happen this year? Yeah, they say it's about a year till my ankle will be like 100% exactly like my left. So I'm going to play through this, obviously, like uh, any hurt guy would. You know, I'm going to push through it. I may not be. My ankle may not be 100% till the 12th game or till the bowl game, but who cares? I'm out here playing and I'm having a good time. So. What was the work you did, Isaac, in the off season to get ready for camp and have a chance to do more than one year? It was it was hours of rehab every day. I mean, I had like doctors telling me when it would be like a year till I'd be able to run again and stuff. Obviously, that's like an exaggeration, but um, I have got to get credit to to um, Brett and Steve Pincock. They helped me out so much with the rehab. But in the beginning, it was just like picking up marbles with my toes. And then it was like grabbing a towel with my toes and then slowly trying to turn it. It's been a long process, but like to where I am now, I just got to thank all the um, physical therapists that helped me throughout this time, so. We see you out here with the pads running routes. It looks like you're pretty full goal in practice. Have you been fully cleared, just kind of the tolerance? Sort of yeah. Test yourself on that angle, or? Yeah, it's more of a tolerance thing. But I've had some days off where I probably couldn't go just because my ankle's a little too sore, and the coach has been really lenient and cool with me on that. So they've uh, they've understood what the injury is, and they've slowly worked me into um, drills and team. But yeah, I've been I've been going, and I've been feeling good. So. Roderick noted at the beginning of camp that you gave you guys some, some off days, some improvement guys. How often have you taken off days throughout camp? Uh, probably like once a week. Um, but also sometimes if my ankle's feeling sore, I'll just tell the coaches, hey, I, I got to take this off. I got uh, specific drills or specific plays. And so, um, but yeah, it's kind of a cool thing they're, they're doing now. Obviously, Puka and Gunner and um, Jaron and guys like that, like they played so many games that they don't really have to prove themselves in practice sometimes. So. Um, it's uh, it's pretty lenient from the coaches, but uh, some guys that are banged up, we we really appreciate it. So preseason polls are out. Do you guys care? I don't even know where we're at or care. But to be honest, those things are annoying anyways because they change after like the first week. So I why don't we just do it after the first game? Because I guess it's just a money grab or something. All the schools that are on there, because you see schools that are like seven on there, you know. And then they don't even, they're not on it the rest of the time, you know? So, I don't know. I, I feel like the AP should just, after the first game, let's figure it out. You've been part of some pretty explosive offenses here at, during your time the last two years. Yeah. How do you think this offense in 2022 compares to the previous year? Well, I feel like it's, we only are missing, I mean, we're missing Tyler and Neil and Sampson from last year. But that's, that's it. That's, it's the same guys from last year. And then, obviously, the 2020 group, that was the same group too, besides besides Zach and Tyler. 
and Neil. And so it's uh, we're so experienced now. We we played a lot of games, but we have good chemistry also. So it's uh, it's just so fun to play with these guys, and they're all so good. So what's the next step for this offense? Um, probably the next step, I mean, um, I don't know, I mean, it's tough like in practice, you know, with the run game because the defense always, if they touch them with your finger, they're down. So we want to get to a point where we're actually, you know, running the ball, see see where we're going, getting, getting tackled and stuff like that. So um, that time will come, but obviously right now it's, uh, it's a lot of, we don't know the exact measurement of where the ball is going to be, so. I feel like uh, once we start tackling, we'll be able to tell where we're at more. Sorry, I missed the beginning. How's, how's it feeling? It's feeling good. Yeah, yeah it's feeling good. I'll be, I'm obviously not 100 yet, and uh, the coach has been really lenient with me on how I'm feeling. And so, but I've been feeling good. I'm really impressed or happy with how I've been progressing, but still got some ways to go. Are you on a pitch count until game one? or? Uh, yeah, probably until game one. So we're, we'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, the coaches and the training staff got me on a pitch count. How impressed have you been by some of the tight ends kind of underneath you, behind you, I guess, who, who have gotten a little bit of extra work through the spring and up till now, guys like, like Lane and Ethan and yeah. you know some of the guys that we don't always talk about maybe. Yeah, Lane, Ethan, Carter, they've all played really well. Um, Anthony Olsen, he's a great tight end that's, that's uh, came in and he's a young guy, Only he's a basketball player, but he's He's played really well, and then obviously Houston and Mason and Dallin. Um, we have a really talented tight end group, especially the younger guys, Ethan and uh, and Carter, and those guys are very talented. So, anything else? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.